Hi, I'm Food Lady Dominique. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I am introducing you to a new vegan burger that is coming into the U.S. market from Italy from a company called Altro Food. Basically means other food. I love it. I'm a bit obsessed with it because it tastes great. It has nice, clean ingredients, ingredients that I understand and very few of them. And because it comes in a format that's different than most of the vegan burgers on the market right now, it's in a powdered form. It's so easy to customize either to my specific taste or if I want to change it up to go with the seasons or a specific cuisine. So easy to do. Currently, this product comes in a 600 gram or an 800 gram bag. I've got a smaller bag with 150 grams in it that makes about five burgers. You simply open the bag and the ingredients, as I was telling you, pea protein, fava protein, vegetable fibers from bamboo, chicory, and peas, uh, some flavorings and vegetable extracts like beetroot, black carrot, onion, black pepper, and the ingredient that is a bit more processed is methyl cellulose as a stabilizer. It's from the cellulose of plants. It's a fiber. The great thing about it is that it's hypoallergenic and it's actually been shown as a fiber to be helpful for the microbiome. You just pour your powder in a bowl. This is 150 grams. To that, you add 400 grams of water. And I will show you how you can start flavoring from what you put in your water. And then 75 grams of a flavorless oil, like sunflower seed or grapeseed oil. And here's another place where you can flavor or you can also push the nutritional aspect by what kind of oil you use. Like for instance, you can use avocado oil, olive oil, etc. And then you just mix it. Once it's fully mixed, you put it into the refrigerator for 15 minutes so that it gels and comes together. But before we do that, I want to show you one way that you can flavor it. One hamburger's worth of this which is about 125 grams. So I'm doing a bit more than a quarter pound. So at this point, you can add herbs or vegetables, all sorts of mix-ins, and you want to keep it to 20% or below of your mix. I'm gonna do an Italian-inspired burger. What I have is some sun-dried tomatoes, chopped fine. Everything needs to be chopped real fine and that is four grams. And then I've got 15 grams of pesto. All those great basil, garlic, pignoli nuts, and Parmesan flavors. So as you can see, I'm nicely below the 20%, but I've got flavors that are intense going in there. There you go. You can see how beautifully pestoed it is. It smells amazing. The other way that you can customize these burgers is from the beginning. I made an Asian inspired burger. I substituted some of the water with teriyaki sauce and some of the oil with toasted sesame oil. I put in some chopped pickled ginger and chopped scallion. Mix that up. Two easy examples to customize these burgers. With a short time in the fridge, it sets and now we can form burgers. And it works great either forming them with your hands or if you have a hamburger press, you either oil your hands or whatever hamburger press you have, and it just makes it easier to do. See how it's nice and formed? It really holds well together. Form it into either a thicker or thinner patty, and then they go in the freezer. And you can keep them for up to three or four months that way. And when you want to cook them, right from the freezer to your grill or to your pan. So I'm going to reset and we're going to cook some burgers. And here are our frozen burgers. The regular flavor, the pesto, and the teriyaki. The time of cook is going to depend on whether you pan saute like I'm doing or you use a grill and at what heat. I think the best thing is just to test the middle with a thermometer. At 125 degrees, you get a medium rare and at 130, 35, you get a medium. As these don't have a lot of fat to them, you do want to use some oil. 
What a great sizzle. Cover, check them in a couple of minutes, turn them over, and then start checking the temperature. Right. It's been a couple of minutes. Oh, it smells so good. And look at the beautiful caramelization. Look at how great they look. Let's see what temperature we're at. Yeah, we're about at 100. So we're just gonna need about a minute, minute and a half on this side. Yum. I think they're done. Beautifully caramelized and great temp. They come together easily. You customize them the way you want and they cook quickly and they're delicious. I'm going to put the basic flavor on my toasted brioche bun. Piece of lettuce on the bottom, a nice slice of tomato on the top, and yum! I'm gonna have that in a second, but what I wanna do is I wanna cut these open so that you can see how beautifully juicy they are on the inside. Beautifully cooked, nice and juicy, and mm, so delicious. I don't really need to have meat burgers anymore with something like this. Comment down below if you've got any questions. I'll be back to you with more Ultra products because they've got a minced vegan meat. They've got vegan meatballs, they've got nuggets, they've even got a bechamel sauce, so you can make a whole vegan lasagna using their products. Subscribe and click the notification button so that you know when my new videos are coming out. And thank you so much for joining me. Buon appetito.